Hello there, it is Lee here from the Appalicious Teacher, and today I'm going to be showing you a very simple way to add automated tabs on Google Chrome. So, what are automated tabs and why do you, as a busy teacher, need them? Well, first, automated tabs are basically anytime that you open up Google Chrome from your computer desktop or your laptop, um, it will automatically open up different tabs for you instead of you having to go in and open them yourself. So as a very busy teacher, I'm sure when you are coming into your classroom or you're getting ready to start your distance learning for the day, you're probably opening up at least five or six different tabs. You're probably opening up your attendance tab, your email, um, you know, your, your school email. You're probably opening up your Google Classroom. And if you're using a system like Class Dojo, you're opening up that. Um, if you're using any other types of systems like, um, or programs like, um, you know, a Google Slides or Zoom, whatever, you're opening up a bunch of tabs. So having automated tabs will make your life a lot easier as a busy teacher because you, um, instead of having to manually go in and open up all those tabs, as soon as you log in and get onto your Google Chrome, all those tabs will be there. So it's super simple to do. Here you can see um, is my, um, I have some tabs already open. These are actually set as automated tabs. Um, here, I just wanna show this to you really quick before I show you how to actually make automated tabs. Google will, when you're logged in as your account, will save your most frequently visited sites for you and you can click to add a shortcut. So if you're just looking to have maybe one or two quick shortcuts for you, you can add that here. Um, but I'm talking about like every time you log in, you want these tabs up, which is how when um, how I like to have it when I was in the classroom. Um, so definitely, you know, it's a great thing to have. And this is just like a step forward from the shortcut. OK, so to do that, we're going to go over here to those three little dots in the corner. And then we're going to go down to settings. OK. And then in settings, there's a lot of different things you can do in here, um, but we're gonna go all the way down to on startup. Okay, so remember it's settings and then all the way down to startup, okay? And this means that when we start up Google Chrome, here's what we want to happen. And so right now you, you could just have it, that'll be a new tab. Or you can have it to continue where you left off. I don't suggest that one. Um, or you can have it set to specific pages. So right now you can see or what my pages are set to. To add, an, um, you would just click add a page. And then you would type in the URL and click add. Or you can have all your tabs up here and just click use, um, you can have tabs up here and then say use current page current pages and that'll actually save everything that's already up for you. Now I do suggest that you save your passwords so that you're not having to log in individually to each thing. Um, that's just a quick step for you, um, but that's obviously a personal choice. Some schools, um, some districts don't allow that. So, you know, you need to know and understand your, your school district's um, security measures. But for me, it was so much easier to just have everything logged in as soon as I opened my tab. So, um, you know, you can have your email, your school email up and ready to go, your attendance up and ready to go. If you want your grade book up and ready, um, if you do digital lesson plans, have that plan book open for you. Um, like I said, for distance learning, you can have your Google Classroom um, ready to go. Your if you're using programs like Nearpod, that could be up and ready to go. Um, Zoom links can be any anything that's a web page. You can put it on there. If you're doing a Google slide and you want to have Google Slides open or your Google Drive open, add it. Okay, so that is how you would add automated tabs so that every time you open up your um, Google Chrome browser all these tabs will automatically come up on the top. Um, I would show you, but if I close this out, then we're not recording anymore. So I don't wanna close it out and not record. <laughs> anyway, all right guys, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Don't, oh wait, don't forget, if you like this video to hit subscribe and like my channel, 
um, because I'm definitely going to be bringing you a lot more Google hack videos and I want to make sure you get those. All right. Bye for now.